Hi, welcome back to channel train station 2. Alright, got stuck with two jobs for a long time. Really have to clear this stone processing plant in order to get on with my three jobs back. Alright, so really we're gonna work hard on that. I'm gonna share with you the gift code. Uh, hopefully you get it already, Granite. And of course, I'm uh, happy to share also a win of a legendary train from the containers. Alright, so here we have 50 and uh, here is the beautiful uh, duplicate Shinkansen 500 that we got from the uh, daily reward sometimes you get it the, the container. This is where I got this Shinkansen. Alright, so um, the jobs uh, EPH start uh, as the start of uh, every single competition. Um, from the second competition onwards, you cannot collect your uh, EP or your completed jobs until the start of the competition. So that will give you a boost in terms of the ranking. So that's how it works. Uh, 100 plus, uh, that's really great. Uh, of course, uh, stuck with a lot of items in a warehouse is a common problem for me, and I really need uh, to really start planning to move them out. Uh, really, gonna start delivering in order to clear out that warehouse spacing, and then uh, let's see how we move these things out. Okay, uh, really got to do some deliveries. I think uh, great to have this 700 over items prepared uh, as the warehouse uh, sit full of this event items that I've been preparing for, including these diamonds. Um, I mean, <laughs> some of you may think that it looks like Minecraft, so be it is a query uh, event somewhat similar. I do agree in that context. Uh, literally, um, there's a lot of things to be done in, in train station too, in the competitions. You'll be really busy and uh, most of the time, just gonna take note, you'll be event fatigued. So uh, even if you don't do well in this event, doesn't matter because there are many, many events and non-stop. So uh, in every single event, I normally aim for two legendary trains. Um, the first I always aim for is the 1000 coin legendary. Um, if I'm lucky to get three first in the first three competitions, um, that will give me 1050 uh, event coins and uh, that will suffice for 1000 uh, event coin legendary already and uh, hopefully by the fourth competition onwards um, we would have already uh, secured the second legendary which required 4000 event keys so um, those are the two of my targets that I always get from events and after that I'll try to work on in terms of the prioritization of the the usage of the event keys uh, of course uh, for the event coins is easy uh, definitely be using those for guide buying of the gold packs and of course the remaining use for big boxes but uh, talking about the event uh, keys itself uh, that is something really good to think about so alright really great so we unlock this stone processing plant <laughs> the item didn't know that uh, this is a roadblock moving forward because so far you can see I still have three jobs but once I completed one of them I'll be stuck with two until I complete this stone processing one all right, back to um, event keys that I mentioned earlier. How I prioritize is, of course, we given a choice between an epic, uh, rare, and common, and a special building. What would you choose? Um, for me, definitely, I think it's relatively important uh, to have the common and the rare because I think that uh, they have the lower capacity. So in that context, um, it do help you, especially during the competitions whereby you're asked to do uh, jobs with um, lower capacity uh, common train for example with four capacity so imagine you could have an easy uh, common train from the event that give you a good hit start I think that is fantastic because uh, not only they have a high ceiling but they have a good um, starting uh, capacity that allows you to not even you need to invest into investing into upgrading this uh, common trains but you would have already have a good capacity common train so this is something that I always eye for in the event and uh, rare train likewise um, instead of six capacity you have a good number of capacity in the event uh, rare train itself and again the capacity uh, sitting is so much higher compared to uh, what we always see in the region itself having a strong competitor right now and uh, of course that uh, means that I could use the overdrive <laughs> So you can see in the Innovation Center, uh, there is a capacity upgrade for the choice of uh, type of trains. Um, common trains would be my priority sometimes because especially when we are stuck with jobs that uh, require common trains to deliver, it would take a long while. Uh, the other one will be um, definitely the legendary not because only the uh, delivery but you can see here the amount of gold i collect uh, from this uh, legendary trains but all thanks to the overdrive in terms of the capacity so that's fantastic um not only you can get more stuff in terms of raw materials, uh, deliver more as, as part of your delivery to the contractors, you're also able to gain in getting more out of the goal every four hours. 
So um, it's very important. Uh, you got to collect gold, as I mentioned earlier, before I was there. Otherwise, uh, you'll be depleting it really fast. Uh, I'm going to save up all uh, the gold as possible um, into Egypt because um, I've already got all the trains in Japan. Um, I don't think I need to upgrade any more of the trains um, because generally uh, they have a high capacity and a good number of the legendaries already. And uh, of course, to get an innovation center, the overdrive does help. Um, moving to Egypt, I need probably 2 million so I'm really aiming to save up at least 2 million uh, before we hit 800 levels uh, when we move on to Egypt so I'm not going to spend a single cent in upgrading I uh, really want to wish to really accumulate uh, every 4 hourly uh, as well as the event uh, gold packs uh, to get up to 2 million and of course the keys I'm starting to save already I'm not touching it at all even if the mini uh, event uh, Twin Tycoon do ask for the keys uh, spending I will not be spending any because I already got in the missing train uh, the legendary so there's no point in me spending keys anymore um, and one of the jobs in Japan once I'm done I may get another uh, train the, this legendary as well so uh, you can see here this is the uh, progression I have in the stone processing plant um, this is at the moment giving a big problem because we can't unlock the excavator uh, at this point um, you need two uh, in order to unlock the excavator so that's the problem with this uh, higher opera map that actually uh, impedes you uh, from moving forward uh, they just start with two jobs and I didn't know about that until I, I actually uh, realized that I should have studied um, that progression map I think that's why I think it's important to share with you uh, the progression maps on on this and the potential of you stucking with just two jobs I think is really high uh, if you are like me focusing on um, getting the jobs that you have uh, inventory for um, so in this context um, the rails if I complete I may still get another new job but um, I really need to push on for this stone processing uh, plant job in order to clear it out and um, what's really painful is that we have always been asking items that you don't have um, that's that's take a long while to make and I'm probably gonna spend some gems um, to speed up uh, in terms of the processing of the items because um, otherwise all the trains will be idling and uh, the overdrive if the innovation center will go to waste uh, so these are the common problems whereby you don't have items and you need a long time to process them of course um, another option would be to spend again uh, the precious bucks or the season uh, dollars uh, into the innovation center um, to produce items faster but I don't want to do that so I don't do the balancing between spending in gems and uh, spending the uh, union dollars so now I'm um, going to share with you uh, really some uh, lucky moments <laughs> uh, another rare train but of course I'd rather get the parts since it's a duplicate uh, sometimes uh, you get more time the common ones but there's another lucky moment there so uh, here we have uh, really um, this job to be completed uh, it's not really a priority as I mentioned uh, because this is not the one that's hindering uh, the progression is the stone processing job so it's 9 slash 10 already at this moment I just need to complete one more uh, in order to unlock the third job so that I'll be back on pace in uh, fighting a tough uh, competitor uh, again um, winning the union uh, allows me some ammunition in terms of spending in an innovation center another $525 so uh, 525 adds on I get 1442 and of course um, that allows me to basically um, prioritize my spending like I said uh, really spend it on the common and uh, the legendary so I'm not spending on uh, the rare and the uh, epic in the moment I uh, don't see really a need for that so really got to prioritize because one more competition to go I want to save up so eventually I can use it for um, the third competition and uh, if I could I would get first and I get that legendary train that's really beautiful so uh, here we are uh, fighting really hard and we managed to uh, promote to the next league and uh, hopefully more rewards or better rewards will be obtained um, this is what I meant uh, collecting of gold is important and uh, almost 400,000 uh, still far away from 2 million but nonetheless working really hard on it and uh, at the meanwhile I'm uh, just going to use the uh, uh, dispatchers that's idling right now to fulfill the uh, filling up of my factories uh, inventories um, I think that's the sometimes got no choice uh, because you don't have the things to be um, ready to send out so you just got to build up your inventory again since they deplete really fast um, generally 
these are the long moments that uh, allows me to quickly uh, top up the uh, factory items uh, since we are still waiting for the inventory uh, the event event uh, items from the uh, factory event factory itself to to basically do up the missing items just checking around uh, to see what things i can upgrade so probably i unlock a books uh, in order to do two of the upgrades i think the other one Yep, this is the one. Alright, so I'll unlock uh, one of the books and uh, we can do two uh, building upgrades there. Uh, hopefully, uh, that will push us uh, slightly nearer to uh, the warehouse upgrade for another 100 capacity. Alright, so I'm a bit distracted just now. <laughs> so, Alright, so um, here we are uh, still working hard with the factory uh, to produce the dynamics um, that's required for the 10-10 slash job. The last job, as I mentioned earlier, um, this is the one that's putting us behind <laughs> all right so wish you good luck and uh, all the best and uh, do join my ig if possible thank you again goodbye <laughs>